The Paris Indian Society was an Indian nationalist organization founded in 1905 at Paris under the patronage of Madame Bikaji Rustam Kama, B.H. Godrej and S.R. Rana. The organization was opened as a branch of the Indian Home Rule Society founded that same year in London under the patronage of Shyamji Krishna Varma. The Paris Indian Society also saw active participation from Indian nationalists who at various times were associated with the India House during its short existence. This included Varendranath Chattopadhyaya, Har Dayal, M.P.T. Acharya and Vinayak Damodar Savarkar. Other prominent Indians associated with the society included P.O. Mehta, H.M. Shah, P.C. Varma and a number of other prominent Indians in Paris at the time. The Paris Indian Society, under the strong leadership of Madame Kama, developed close links with the Socialist Party and Russian Socialists in exile in Paris, and Kama herself attended the Socialist Congress of the Second International at Stuttgart in 1907, where seconded by Henry Hindman, she demanded recognition of self-rule for India. It was at this Congress that Kama famously unfurled one of the first flag of India. Following the liquidation of the India House in the wake of Kirsan Willey's assassination in 1909 by Madanilal Dingra, the PIS became the refuge and hub of Indian revolutionaries who fled England. The Paris Indian Society at this time grew to be one of the most powerful Indian organizations outside India at the time, and grew to initiate contacts with not only French socialists, but also those in continental Europe. It sent delegates at this time to the International Socialist Congress in August 1910. At the time of V.D. Savarkar's rearrest at Marseille following his escape during deportation from England, this socialist network was successfully able to exert pressure on the French government to press for Savarkar's extradition to France before the International Tribunal at Hague ruled in favour of Britain. In Paris, the Indian Society also held regular meetings and sought to train its members in skills necessary for revolution, which included training in firearms, learning military tactics, as well as organizing the publication of revolutionary literature. It also sent recruits other countries and, after training, some were sent back to India to carry on propaganda work The Paris Indian Society produced the Bande Mataram from 1909, and Madame Kama later financed the Talvar to be produced in Berlin. 